Hey, I'm Jesse. Behind the camera is Will, and together we are Top Jaw. We are in Barcelona for one day. We've just literally stepped foot off of this bad boy. This film is in collaboration with PO Cruises. I am higher. Rise and shine. <laughs> We're doing a whole foodie adventure Mediterranean tour, so make sure you check out our other films. Seville, yes, Barcelona, woo, and Valencia. Had a dip in the pool, feeling ready. Let's get into the city, boy. Yeah. In this film, we're going to places where tourists are few and far between. And a brilliant example of that is this place, Origo. Two cold brews for two hot dudes. This doesn't technically rhyme, but... So this is Francois and he's picked for us. Trio of his favorites. Two sweet, one savory. Yes. So this is the hamon and cheese croissant. Very, very worthy of the first thing to put in my mouth. So I asked Francois, I was like, why do you start a bakery? Like, were you always a baker? He said, no, I was actually working for Google in San Francisco. Loved sourdough bread there, really got me into it. When I moved to Barcelona with my girlfriend, I was like, hang on, I just can't get good sourdough here. So we stopped working in tech. Nine months after you moved to Barcelona, opened this place. What have you got here, mate? A little cinnamon spatch? Cardamom oh, bun. That is really good. That is the right amount of chew for me. Yeah. Look at that, look at that. Soft, gooey, and delicious. This, another sweet one, is croissant dough that serves in like a bun cake form with coffee syrup, lemon zest, brown butter. Oh my God, that's crazy. Thank you so much, Francois. Thank you. Awesome. You just telling Francois how much you love his buns, mate. Uh. Okay, behind me is Bar La Camilla, and now this is one that we're featuring in this film, but the locals might not be very happy about that. It's a real nostalgic homage to the 1970s, where a bar like this were everywhere. I'm still trying to work out why the locals are going to be angry, though. Putting our order with Julia. These are foods they call merienda. It's like snacks that they were given after school by their grandmother. It's the kind of nostalgic food that they're serving in. This is a flauta de boy, white sausage, olive oil, and tomato. Get it in there, mate. Do you feel like you've just finished school for the day? Yeah. Mom! Mom! This is a real after school food, right? Your knees look cute. <laughs> Toast with oil and chocolate, salt. They eat them together, apparently. What we have here is they're very special vermouth. Boozy but civilized, you know? Vermouth is a civilized thing to drink every day. Nice and simple pan con tomato. And tortilla with potato and aubergine. Very elegant, very Catalonian. Come on, Will, let's do something we don't do enough. Let's go see some sights. Oh, it's massive, mate! One of the most impressive buildings I've ever laid these delicious peepers on, the Sagrada Familia. Now, this is due to be completed in 2026, but if that happens, it would have taken 10 times longer than the Great Pyramids, 50 years longer than the Great Wall of China. I mean, this work of art takes time. How do you know that, mate? This is a stop on the walking tour with P&O Cruises, an excursion which teaches that kind of stuff. I love it. All right, dude, it's lunchtime, and for that, we've come to Succulent. This place is owned and run by a chef called Tony. He's ex El Bully. Is he a little bit fancy? Maitre D is in a suit, but he's not judging. We've rocked in his shorts and he's all smiles. It's good. It's the oyster. That's what he said. He used a spoon for the oyster and then he said, drink it out of the bowl. This is roasted duck croquettes. Oh my God. That's a beautifully smoky, sweet, creamy flavour. Right here we have a little ceviche, and the head of the prawn is smoked and roasted. Yeah, buddy. Thank you very much. We're having the full works now. Antake mushrooms, pine nut. Wow. Wow. Bone marrow, steak tartare, potato souffle, pom souffle. So much flavour and creaminess for the bone marrow. What presentation as well. That's so fun. I think it's the last dish. Lamb neck, smothered with Moroccan spices. Oh gosh. gosh. Oh gosh. Mmm. Wow. That tastes so naughty. Final course. A little peach dessert. God, that's good. Mmm. 
exceptional. So good. Thank you very much. Top Thank man. You for coming. Okay, another stop on our walking tour is the Gothic Quarter. It was where Gaudi spent a lot of his time. He lived here, and actually one of his first ever projects out of university is in this beautiful square. Ching! Pretty cool, eh? Okay, this is La Campana. It's been here since 1890, making nougat and beautiful ice cream. Let's have loads, shall we, Will? I think we should, mate. Let's try them all. Gone for two new golf flavors, soft and a hard. It's a favorite of the sisters who run this place. Yeah. yeah. It tastes like, you know, we eat some Frosties and the milk at the end. That's sort of what this tastes like. This one is, this one is called really for Will. I'm gonna have a dig at it first, I'm afraid, my man. Oh, that's so good, with little chunks of walnut in it. Over the next few days, we're hitting up Valencia, Barcelona and Seville. Such a good way to see some of the best Mediterranean cities, but in a very relaxed fashion. You can go on one of the many shore experiences organized by p and Cruises, or you can go explore independently. We're just about to head down to the spa to have a bit of work done. Looking sharp, mate. Robbie, you've done a very good job there. Oh my God, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It is really flattery, actually. All right, so after my first ever back wax, it was time to check out some of the many restaurants on board. So now I can really introduce to you what Green & Co featuring Mizuhana is all about. Plant-based small plates and incredible sushi. Right, ready for this big old mouthful? This is my favorite. This is their spin on a South African chakalaka wellington. Oh, that's great. Just serving up American classics for brunch, lunch, and dinner. We had the Sixth Street Diner. Buffalo wings in the Sixth Street Diner. I love a wig. Oh, yes, mate. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Sixth Street Diner is a messy place. This is Sindhu. We're here for high end Indian cuisine. This right here, Will. Carolyn style crab meat tien. Tandoori lamb cutlets. And this is chicken jira, chili and buttered chicken breasts. Oh, yeah. This is the Sindhu signature plate. Beef fillet, lobster, ducks, onion bhajis. Life is good when you've got that in front of you. You know what I mean, Will? Put this thing into slow mode. Slow mode. I can tell you one thing about this place. There's no shortage of bars. It's willing to make you whatever you like, and they have the cocktail menu. Look at these feathers on it. S'mores pole martini. We have a Treasure Island daiquiri. Treasure Island. Treasure. Cheers. What are you gonna watch tonight, sunshine? I think I'm gonna get a load of Elvis. Oh. But hey, our film doesn't start for a little while, so let's go check out the bar right opposite. Look at the state of these gins, mate. There's so many. At Anderson's bar. We've got a cocktail so suited for the med. It's a silly and sour. Cheers, bro. You not had enough booze yet, mate. Woohoo! Shating! Finishing our walking tour in an area called Elborn. This is a neighborhood that looks very similar to the Gothic Quarter, but is actually less touristy and quieter. It's a great place to stay, home to some of the best bars in Barcelona. Should we go for a street side beer then? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. One Elborn, the genuinely named the Elborn Bar. Have a couple of cocktails in a place that used to be an old fish market, but we're going to be drinking maybe an old fashioned instead of washing a trout. Jesse, what have you worked out that I'm getting a margarita? We've had. Um, we've... How long? Does it, how long does it take to work out that I'm getting a margarita? Okay, let's go for a paloma and a margarita. And margarita. Homer, on the rocks, dashing of salt, dried orange. Oh yeah, good. Have a little sip, bro. Yeah, can I? Oh yeah, that's good. That was Elborn. A little bit of an impromptu stop, but a very worthwhile one. And if you're yeah, lucky enough, you might meet our two new friends. Oh no, uh, the owners. <laughs> yeah. We come round the corner, still kind of in Elborn for Manipota di Negra. Translates to the black butterfly. All from this book that was written about this building where some guy was making kind of Frankenstein little monsters. And they've taken that concept, made a cocktail bar. We're upstairs in the workshop where they make 
all their little cups, goblets, glasses, oh, whatever you want to call them. These guys are their little monsters, right? Every single one is perfectly imperfect. Look, we're in a very artistic place. So it just makes sense that we're going to have works of art as cocktails, right? Well, you have a tequila and lemongrass cocktail, pineapple juice, lime juice, aloe vera juice, arugula. Okay, we have Himalayan salt, boulder syrup, and some other things. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try your tequila lemongrass one. Man, the Atmos out here is glorious. I think we found our neighborhood. This is a hideaway, and here we have bourbon, sherry, homemade hazelnut liqueur, and a uh, mint. Among other things, holy shit, that was quite a. Hello there, Mr. Will. Oh, fancy seeing you here, Mr. Jess. So, this is Sulu Bar. This place is new, okay? It is fresh, it is seven months old. You only come here if you know it's here. This is our first dish. This is one of the OG dishes. Steam leeks and radish and tomato. It's gonna be very good food. Here we have chicken and pork terrine with sweet breads and mushroom. You gotta come here. I know where, you know, when you take the school playing in, but you've got to come in. So here we have a very Catalan thing. It is like a savory profiterole. Oof. Oof. Oh. This is grilled lettuce with a bed of hummus, mm. and then it's topped with oyster sauce and chicken crackling. Oh, yeah, oh, boy. It's one of our skewers, chicken skin with prawn tartare. If anything speaks to me, this does. That is really good. Oh my god. On this skewer, we got pig ear, squid, and chicken gizzard. Ace lost his head, mate. This is a Barcelona dinner of dreams. Real sweet breads with masala sauce, roasted potatoes. Oh yeah. For those that don't know what are in sweetbreads. Yeah, just Google it. Or don't Google it, just eat them. Oh, what a day, man. What a blimmin' day. I feel full in my stomach and also full in my head, Will. About to get back on ship. And big thanks to Piano Cruises for making this Mediterranean extravagant tour happen. Cue the montage. Woo, I feel good now. You're right, mate. Lovely view here. Eh?